Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Let's Play. You're with Sambo, Seraphis, Thrawn, and oh my god, it's been such a long, long time. Look at this. Catella Evanly, good to see you. Good to see you. Gosh, it seems like it's been such a long time since we've made a Final Fantasy XIV video. In fact, we were just talking about it. I think it's been, what, at least three or four months. Was it last year, Catella? Has it been that long? I think it might have been. Oh, that's terrible. I'm going to blame, in fact, I'm going to blame Merrick. That's who I'm going to blame on that one. Merrick. Oh great. <laughs> oh great, he says ho ho ho! It's him himself. G'day Merrick. Uh, hello. Gosh, it's, it seems like such a long time since I've spoken to you. Great to see you. Now what are you rocking there? You're looking a little demure today. Have you got something special on? Ah, uh, just some uh, fishing gear. Fishing gear? Just ah. some gathering gear with the fishing pole, you know. Fishing, you know, it's funny you should talk about that, and we're going to speak about that in just one moment. But before we do, we've got a bunch of people who clearly need dance lessons from me down here, and they all seem to be little people. Nonetheless, which is Mini Ninja. Mini, it's been such a long time since we've seen you. Hello to you. Hello, Sambo. It has been quite indeed a long time, and I was actually enjoying my time away from you. And lo and behold, you make your return. <laughs> Gee, thanks a lot for the warm welcome. You know what? I haven't missed you at all. Not at all. I haven't missed you. No, okay, I have. I've missed you a great deal. But you know what? I'm glad to see over on your channel that you're starting to post a whole bunch more videos. So have you recently got near a computer again? Yep, got my computer up and going for oh. the time being. And, yep. yep, and trying to upload as many videos as I can. Do you know what? I'm glad because I love your She Plays It Let's Play series. And of course, I love watching you bumble around in Half Life 1, Half Life 2, <laughs> and all of the other games that you play. So please keep that. In fact, I watched an episode just the other day, and I think you spent the whole time screaming. I can't remember what game it was because I was just transfixed by the fact you were it, yelling. Do you remember it, what that it was? It wasn't Skyrim. It wasn't Skyrim. Well, that's at right, all. it was Skyrim. It was indeed you know what i think you yell in that game more than i yell in that game and that's <laughs> saying something so yeah tons of fun don't forget folks to go over and watch she plays it'll pop a link down in the description below this video do you know another person i can see down there cutie mcsnuggles who i think joined us in the mumbles g'day cutie hello hello good to see you now i think you're playing not from pc land and not from ps3 are you one of these fancy people playing from the brand new playstation console is that you? I am in fact playing from PS4 and it is a magical new land from PS3. <laughs> I can imagine. So in fact, you know what, Merrick and I were sneaking in some technical discussions about this the other day. But uh, let's hear it from the horse's mouth, from Cutie's mouth indeed. Is it great? Like, I mean, the PS3 version would have problems rendering more than about 20 odd people, I think. What is it like on PS4 compared to a PC? It's, well, there's only one way I can say it. It's like a whole new world. Oh, good lord. Catella, do we allow that? This is early in the show. I'm not sure that we allow it. Yes, we do. It's very oh. good. <laughs> a whole new world. Cutie, it's great to hear. And uh, you know what? A lot of people ask us about the PS4 version and is it any good? So, um, Merrick, I mean, you've had a little bit to do with it as well. Is that right? Yep, sure so, have. So, I mean, you've, you're have you the one with the Cray supercomputer from NASA. So you're used to running Final Fantasy XIV on a very fast machine. What's it like, honestly, on the PS4 compared to your supercomputer? I can tell you right now that in some instances, the PS4 actually has better frame rates than the P than the PC does. <laughs> You're joking. All right, so I think it's safe to say the PS4 is a wise investment. I mean, look, I think it's great because you can just literally put the CD in the drive and away you go, right? There's no installing, no drivers, no graphics issues, no sound issues. You it just works. Would that be right, Merrick? Uh, that would be a, a correct answer, yes. Yep. Just plug it in and it works. And, Cutie, the other thing that gets me about this is, at the end of the day, the PS4 is not exactly a big console, is it? I mean, it's, it's not a great big lump to carry around. I've got one, and they're great. I think they're portable. No, I mean, it's, it's not the same size as the PS3, so... Yeah, well, the new PS3, definitely. I mean, if you wanted to, you could, you know, put that under your little arms there and race off to your friend's house, as long as they've got a TV, plug it in, and go, check it out, and let's sit down on the couch and play Final Fantasy XIV. Now, this is the big question that I've got, and Catella, I know we covered this off in one of our earlier shows, but just very, very quickly for those who haven't tuned in for a while, if I play like I do now on my PC and I own a PS4, can I go out, buy Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for the PS4 and play on this character, this very one here, Seraphis Thrawn, or do I have to buy a whole new thing and, and create new characters and lose all of my progress? 
Nope, you can buy No, you can play on your same character, yeah. What, really? Okay, well, there's two for one there. Two people say yes, we can. All right, so that means that I, I still could tell I need to buy the game, though, right, on PS4? So, yes. Um, yes and no. If you have a PS3 version, they're allowing PS3 users to upgrade to PS4. Okay, what, for free? For free. Okay, that is awesome. That is fantastic. What if I don't have the PS3 version though? If you don't have to, if you don't have the PS3 version, you just have to buy the PS4 version. Also, if you have the PS3 version and you upgrade it to PS4, then you can't play on the PS3 anymore. You would have to actually purchase it again. So, right. like, if you want to be able to play from both both consoles, you actually have to have one of have purchased one of each. If that makes sense. Right. Understood. Still, I think it's very generous though, and the fact that they're all playing on the oh, same yeah. server is amazing that's great Do you know what else is amazing i'm just gonna walk over to the side here and say hello to someone that we haven't seen for a very long time as well someone who supported us right from the early days and somebody who is well a feature in all of our shows really that would be steph aka lira carlo g'day steph how are you hey Sandra. i'm good great to see you how and you? oh my god can i say your character looks amazing absolutely amazing there must be a story behind <laughs> that you. top that you've got on there surely that's that's something a bit special this is from uh Bahamut's coil. Ah, oh, is, is that what coil? Coil that everyone talks about, this coil thing. Yeah, it has a bunch of turns to it, and uh, okay. it's kind of rather difficult. You have to be at least level 50 to do it. Oh, level yeah, 50. Yeah, it'll, it'll so. take you a couple of years. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting for that, Minnie. Thanks a lot there. <laughs> we'll get you there eventually. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Look, one thing I do need to ask you, it's very important, Steph, and that is that oh, I can see all these people like Merrick, Catella, we've got uh, Cutie there, Jukari, and Ezra. Hello to you two both as well. Well, nice of you to join us here. I think you're in Mumble. Hello, guys. Hey, Sambles. Hey, hello. Uh, you guys are all dancing. Now, Steph, I know you're not dancing, but these guys, when when they dance, they dance forever. If I type slash dance, here's what happens. I look amazing, just like real life, of course. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but watch what happens. See, see, did you see that? I stop. What? How come? Right. How come they get to dance, Steph, and I stop? What's so special about them? Well, they have um, special. Um, Dances unlocked from oh. each of the uh, the different uh, cities. Oh, hang and on. so those. Oh. So hang on, is that a special quest, right? Yeah, each city will have their own little quest. It's just a little simple thing. Okay, all and right. When you, when you have each dance, then you'll dance just indefinitely, and so you just move. Or, oh, or so those ones don't. They're not like a one-shot loop. Hang on a minute, Catella. I must admit, we snuck online the other day uh, mm-hmm. when I was coming back to Final Fantasy XIV, and I seem to remember that you guys took me through some kind of quest. Wasn't that a dance quest? Yeah, go ahead and type slash H dance. Oh, H. Okay, H D A N C E. Let's try this. Oh, oh look at oh oh look at me! How how do we get rid of my UI? I think it's scroll lock. There we go. There you go, folks. If you're watching along from home, if you'd like to see what I look like in real life, my true Buster move dance moves, this is it. So yeah, Square Enix phoned me up and said, "Hey Sambo, do you mind just uh, doing a bit of a jig for us, and we'll capture that motion capture that dance?" And uh, here it is <coughs> in game. Okay, no one's believing me at all. H dance. So Catello, I mean, Steph was saying that there are a whole bunch of different dances. What if what if I have a different one? Like this is the harvest. I think it is harvest dance. This what is other harvest ones? Dance. So, so is it a different actual emote for different dances? Yep. This one I'm gonna do now. This is the step dance. Ah, oh, there we go. S so slash S dance, presumably. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mini Ninja performs a stately ball dance. You know what? The yeah. words stately and you don't sort of come together in my head. But uh, anyway, there we go. <laughs> can I say though? I don't know about that. Look, look. Can I just say I'm just gonna sit down next to you so we can get a good view of this mini. Here we go. Slash sit. I've got to say you've got a very. There it is, right in full camera. You look very Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Today, can you have a guess why I think? That <laughs> That might be <laughs> because of my fabulous hat yeah well you know what because you're wearing a fabulous hat what you have to do in order to actually be able to wear that hat is attempt an Australian accent now now don't run away don't run away I don't know that you've ever done this before but we're gonna do it here on the show live right here and now what do you reckon Catella? do we put Minnie on the spot I bet she could do it I yeah I think she can as well okay I'm gonna I'm gonna make it easy for you by giving you a typical Australian saying Okay, now look at her. She's. By the way, how are you doing that, Minnie? How are you showing me your underarms? 
<laughs> How come I can't do well, that? Well, I wanted you to get a good whiff. <laughs> yes, you're definitely <laughs> Australian. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> no, I just, uh, all you have to do is uh, stand up and do backslash C pose, P O S E. And if you do it again, yeah. you do another fabulous little pose. Wait. So there's multiple poses in the game now as well. Gosh, I've been gone for a couple of months and all these things... Tra- okay, I definitely want to try that out in just a minute. But don't you think there's any getting away with this? Now, the, the phrase for you, Minnie, is something that all of us Australians here say on a daily basis. We say it at work, we say it at home, and we say it before we go to bed. It's just part of the Australian vernacular. Now, are you ready for it, Minnie? Are you sitting down in real life? Because it's a tough one. Okay, looks like she's ready. Here we go. And you've got to say it with your best Australian accent. And it is this. <clears throat> Clearing my throat. Fair suck of the flame in sav, mate. There you go. Now, would you like me to translate that into American for you before you say it? <laughs> Do you even know what it means? I have no idea. <laughs> no okay, no. Does anyone here? <laughs> nobody here has any idea. I can hear people laughing in the background there. Uh, Cutie McSnuggles, do you have any idea what it means? I have never heard that before in my life. Okay, well, I guess I'll let you guys in on a little wee secret here, Catella, before you go running off. And you have to tell us about your top in a minute as well. A sav is short for saveloy. And saveloys here in Australia are like, um, I guess they're like frankfurters, little sausages. They're tiny little sausages that you have at kids' parties. And so what you do at a kids' party is you suck on them because you don't eat them like normal sausages. You actually suck them. It's, It's really weird. It's a weird tradition. So here what we say is... Is fair suck of the flame and sav, mate. And you say that when something's not quite right. So, for example, if Minnie Ninja was being mean to me, and she never would, I would have to say to her, hey, come on, Minnie, fair suck of the flame and sav, mate. So, the thing is, it's very, very easy to mispronounce those words. So, you've got to be very careful, Minnie, because remember, we're a family show here. So, in your best <laughs> Australian accent, and I don't want to plant that earworm in your brain, there you go, you're welcome. In your best Australian accent, I think we need a countdown for Minnie, guys. Here we go. We're going to start from five. Five, four. Oh, oh, she's. Time. Oh, one more time. It is fair, time. fair Uh-oh. suck of the flaming sav, mate. Okay, there you go. It doesn't get any fairer than that. Fair suck of the flaming sav, mate. Here we go. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Fair suck of the flaming mate. <laughs> 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 fair, fair suck of the flaming mate what is that <laughs> is the <laughs> that is terrible look I can see there look, cutie's having a good old laugh what do you reckon cutie could you do any better <laughs> uh, I, I plead the fair oh, you plead. I think you should <laughs> plead the fair. what about you Catella how's your Australian uh, accent you know what I couldn't even remember all those words together oh, like I couldn't guys. even terrible terrible aren't they good lord Merrick what about you come on you've met me in real life you know it's not that hard being Australian. What do you reckon? Give it a crack. <coughs> here we go, here we go. <coughs> Fair suck of the flame and salve, mate. Oh, listen to that! That is awesome! I think that deserves 11 <laughs> nice. out of 10 internet points there. Merrick, uh, you win. You win, hands down. In fact, I think that was even better than me. That's amazing. Well, there you go, folks. There's Australianisms for one day, and that's all because Minnie's wearing her Australian hat now. In reality, Minnie, where'd you get that from? It's my fishing hat. Oh, it is really a fishing hat. Okay, cool. So yep. does that mean that I'm going to get that one day? Because, of course, I need to wear an Australian hat, surely. Is it hard to get? Of course you'll get it. Yeah, good. It's, it's a level 50 fishing hat. Uh, you'll get it when you're about 300 years old. <laughs> can tell her she's being mean to me already. It's not fair. Can we kick her from the guild or something like that? Just something no. small? No. Okay. Now, speaking of nice clothes, what about you before we go any further? Can, uh, let me get rid of that UI. There we go. Look at everyone, by the way. Everyone just looks fantastic. In fact, that's a screenshot. There we go, right there. Catella, where did you get your top from? Because it looks amazing. Uh, I got it today from Coil. Oh, today? Congratulations. That's amazing. All these people getting these great things from Coil. Steph was saying she needs pants from Coil as well. So I'm guessing mm-hmm. that's uh, somewhere that a lot of people go all the time. But you know what? So just before we go on, Marky, Marky there in the background, I just wanted to say hello to you. And I'm pretty sure you're in the mumble chat. Are you there, Marky? Sup? Hey, sup? Can you please explain to me what on earth is going on with your amazing looking axe what is that and where did you get it from uh that's the bavura animus uh it's the upgraded version of the relic that looks well it amazing. goes it goes from relic to relic, relic zenith which also has a glow right but after that you go gather 12 atma from fates and then you upgrade your zenith into a uh let me take the glow off 
into a Anna, which right. is basically how it looks now with the oh yes I painted see. painted on stuff. Yep. And then once and then you start farming for myth, which you buy books. Um, once you finish all 12 books, you get the glow again. Good Lord Almighty. And <laughs> each myth, each book is 1500 myth, and there's nine in total. So have you been doing nothing but that for the last year, pretty much? <laughs> <laughs> last two weeks, yes. Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations to you. Hello, Jukari as well down the front there, and Ezra as well. And look who's joined us. It's the Lord of the Dance himself, Jinx McNinja. G'day, Jinx. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Now, can you please do your dance for me? Please. Because, I mean, this is actually how you dance in real There we go. That's the <laughs> Jinx dancing in real life. Look at that. It is. Oh, my Lord. They've really got that down. Oh, look. Merrick's done it as well. <laughs> Which actual dance is that, Jinx? That is the Manderville. Okay. It's, Manderville dance. It's terrible, isn't it? It's just. Oh, look. Steph's. Oh, God. We've got everyone doing it now as well. Oh, my Lord. That's terrible. All right. I think we need to stop that. Now, look. One of the things we did do the other day, Catella, when I snuck on here, and it was so good coming back, apart from the fact that we had a good look at the house, and we're going to run past that in just a minute, but you taught me fishing. And I must admit mm -hmm. that this was that was a, a big thing for me because I love my fishing. What I promised the guys was that we would actually record some fishing very, very quickly. So do you mind, tell if we do that? Because we can do that around our actual free company house, can't we? I think there's a fishing spot. Yeah. Okay, so before we go any further, though, I must admit that I was looking in my... Here we go. Looking in my armory chest. Here we go. Control I and my inventory. And I had set myself up a gear set gear set list rather. Here we go. Equip. There we go. That is set to fishing. So I've got myself a little fishing here. I got myself up to about level four or level five or something. I can't remember what it was. Level five. There we go. But you're going to have to talk me through. Well, someone's going to have to talk me through fishing one more time. But before we do that, you traded something to me earlier, and I've made a little outfit out of it. And I'm just going to equip it right now. Before we go any further, look at this, folks. Let me get rid of the UI and everything. You have to explain to me, because I understand that this is just a little bit special, Catella. And in fact, if I hover over it, it says it's a spring dress and a spring skirt. And these are just a little bit something cool, aren't they? Is that right? Yeah, they're very cool. They're um, three-star uh, weaver crafted items. Okay, so what does that mean to an idiot like me? Does that mean that they're hard to make? It means that they're hard to make. You have to put quite a bit of effort in to be able to get to the point where you can make those. Now, why then? Why, when I look at this, and I'm just spinning around so you guys can see, in fact, let me zoom in a little bit more, because it's absolutely amazing. This looks incredible. Excuse my tail sticking out there. Why, when I think of incredible crafting, do I automatically think of Pico? I mean, is that a fair assumption that he had his hand in this somewhere along the way? That is very fair, very fair assumption. You should, um, like, just open up your character sheet and just hover over it and see if you can see who signed that. If, oh, look at that. At the bottom, it actually says Pico Man. So he literally yep. made these. Yep, he made them today. Wow. Okay, so uh, what do you reckon, Minnie? What do you reckon? Pretty cool, huh? What, what would you do, Minnie, if I accidentally deleted these? I would... <laughs> Kill you with kindness again. <laughs> no! That, that's the there is no time limit on that. Yeah, that's the nope. worst fate ever. Oh dear. So is it fair to say, Jinx, that these are pretty expensive clothes? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, is that an understatement? I can hear people laughing. Well, Cutie, what do you reckon? Are these worth a couple of bucks? Uh, at least two or three, Gil. At least two or three, Gil. I've got this funny feeling Yikes. that if I lost these, I would be a dead man. Catella, do you want to tell us how much these are worth, roughly? Um, so if you look on the market words right now, they're a little over 300k per piece. <laughs> But they still are? Excuse yeah, they me? Yeah, still are. 300? I 330. 300? Yeah. So, Marky, oh my lord, did I hear Catella right? 300,000 each. Each. Really? Each, yeah. Oh. Okay, um, Merrick, mm, can you please remind me never ever to delete that? Because I mean, it would be my luck, wouldn't it, Merrick, that I'm at a mailbox and trying to make room for something and I see a, a plain white dress and go, oh, get rid of that. Would you cry, Merrick? Would you cry a lot? Uh, yeah, there'll yeah, be no. I, I probably would have to cry. I mean, you know, it, they're expensive and people put a lot of time into them. You should really cherish those yeah, and treasure oh, those. I know, of course, no, I'm only. Go ahead, Sambo. No, no, go ahead and see what happens. Yeah, no, thank you. I would cry, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm running low on fishing bait. I need to fish up some sharks. Yeah, that's what <laughs> they do to me. Look at that. I've got mini nipping at my heels and cutie. I think I'm just going to back away slowly. There we go. I'm very getting a bit scared. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to change out of this outfit. Thank you very much, Pico, and thank you very much for passing them on. Can tell they are amazing. So there you go, folks. I certainly hope you appreciate that because a lot of time and effort and money has gone into those, and we'll definitely be keeping those for special occasions. Let's equip my fishing gear, and it's time to get a rundown on fishing, and that means it's time to go and find somewhere to fish. So can I get you guys to lead me to a fishing spot, please, if you don't mind? I'll, I'm following you guys now, so off we go. Now, if you guys are watching along from home don't know where we are, we are actually here near our free company house. So, Katella, we're running down here with Cutie and Co. This is actually our house here, isn't it, that we're running across? This is our house, yeah. Right, so well done, guys. And, of course, it's changed a lot since the last time we were here. How come it keeps changing all the time, Steph? I mean, is this something that people in our free company can modify at any time? Like, can you actually literally change where things are here out in the yard? Is that how it works, Steph? Yeah, I think... Uh, they have it set where anybody can change things for now. All right, so it's really cool. So I love that because, of course, we can personalize it. But oh, look at this. Here we go. Merrick has whipped his rod out already. So is Cutie. Minnie's wrangling with her one. Now she's unable to suck a flame and salve, but she can definitely wrap her hands around one. Now, Minnie, you've got a glowing end on your one. You're going to have to tell me how this works. But I'm staring at my UI right now. Look at this, everyone. Hey! And they're all sitting down. Minnie, is that new? Can you sit while you're fishing? Is that, that wasn't there before, was it? Nope, it wasn't there before. This is a brand new feature brought, I think, 2.2. Oh, man. This match. I, I'm loving it. Look at that. Leah has got her fishing outfit on. Okay, so walk me through. Just pretend, Minnie, that I'm stupid. Okay, I know it's hard, but pretend that I'm really, really silly. Oh, uh, I thought this was going to be really, really hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> I love having you back, too. All right, look, I have got... <laughs> I've got five buttons on my hot bar, and if I look in my if I look in my inventory somewhere around here, I think the other day I got some. But yeah, there we go. I've got 80 lugworms. Lugworms. So let's go from top to bottom. Number one action here says bait. Number two says cast. Number three says hook. Number four says quit, and number five says cast light. So Minnie, if you don't mind, can you walk me through all of these? How do, now that we're at the edge here of a bit of water, how do we fish? And can you fish at any water, Minnie? Or, or is it only special parts? Any water. And when you're at a high enough level, you can even go sand fishing or air fishing. Air Depends on, fishing. Yeah, it sounds weird. There's like flying fish you can catch. Okay. Catella, has but Minnie been, been eating too many Savaloys? Really? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, all right. There, there's Catella perched over there. She doesn't want to sit next to you, Minnie, because you smell. That's why she's all Aww. over there. Yeah. No, oh, okay, maybe not. Um, <laughs> look at that. Everyone sitting down. This is amazing. Okay, so firstly, what do these buttons do? So what's number one? What does bait do, Minnie? Bait is where all of your bait is going to be. Like, every bait that you have in your inventory, when you click on bait, will show up in your bait and tackle box. Wait, and wait. So there's can... more than one? So you can have different oh, types? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, there's... Cool. Uh, you also have to be very careful with which types you choose. It has to depend on where you're fishing. Like, for example, where we're fishing, this is fresh water. It's not ocean water. So if you choose bait, for example, like the lugworm that says it's ideal for ocean fishing, you're not going to catch anything. Oh. So what you want to do is read the description of all your baits and make sure that it says that it's ideal for fresh water. I see. Okay, and um, get it? I see water see anyway we were fishing the other day when we were training we were in I mean, where were we Merrick we were in Limsa Laminza I believe I yeah. Think. yeah yeah so I was catching fish then and look to be honest many this is the only bait I've got so I mean if I click on bait this is where you choose it from I I've only got lugworms so does that mean I can't I can't fish here yeah you can't fish here if the only bait you've got is lugworm oh man okay all right well, hold look, that thought hold that thought why what oh whoa what was that that? What was that? What did you just do? Oh, did you just level your Congrats, fishing? <laughs> Congratulations. You're welcome. Couldn't have timed that better. Yeah, couldn't have timed that better. Uh, so hang on. Is bait trade... Oh, look at this. I knew... Thank you, Catella. Catella, I think, is going to trade me some bait. Now, while you're trading it to me, um, who can tell me... Let's go to perhaps uh, Cutie. Cutie, the different types of bait. Is this a crafted thing? Like, is that an economy in and of its own? Or do you just buy them off a, a vendor? Or do you get them from, you know, crafted from players? How does the whole bait ecology work, Cutie? 
Uh, if I remember correctly, stun bait is actually makeable by culinarians, and uh, I think uh -huh. goldsmiths can make lures for you as well. But there is some bait that you just buy off NPCs and you know whatever. Okay, so it sounds like there's a bit of a bit of a thing around it. Sorry, what were you saying? I uh, just buy lures; they don't disappear. Like you can reuse them over and over again. You don't oh, need to buy. Right, they so can't disappear, disappear though. Yeah, but it's rare. So hang it on. Rare. You also have to be level 20, I think, before you can use lures. Ah, uh, okay. And that's why I can't. So, and that's like a real life lure. I mean, you and uh, look. I do remember. In fact, it was Zen, Zenwing that was showing us the other day. Depending on the bait you have, you have different animations as well. Like you, you actually look like you're fly fishing as opposed to reeling one in with a normal line. It's quite quite amazing. Anyway, crayfish ball. So Catella, a ball of crayfish and rye flour paste. Sounds like my cooking. Processed bait for freshwater fishing. Thank you very, very much for that. Now, mm -hmm. I see here that you've given me 15. So is this what the guys were talking about, Catella, in that this is a consumable, whereas if I have a lure, it's not going to go away? Right. Okay, all right. Unless you lose your lure. Right, which would never happen to me at all. All right, so Mini Ninja, <laughs> and thank you very much for that bait, Catella. Mini, I've now now got when I click number one, which is bait, I've got lugworm and I've got crayfish ball. So I'm going to click on crayfish ball, and it just ticked. Is that all I need to worry about? Like, just put a tick on that one, so it doesn't actually do yeah. anything. It won't do anything yet. That's just the. It's just telling you this is the bait you're going to be using when you go fishing. Okay, all right. In so fact, when you see the little check mark, yeah. Well, it does say in the chat there that you apply a crayfish ball to your line. Okay, so I can get rid of that window. All right, now I am ready. So I'm all baited up. I'm always baited oh, around. You're not ready just yet. Uh, uh, why not? What do I have new... to do now? Well, you were curious about the glowing green ball of light. Yes. Well, if you want to use that green ball of light, it's not going to show up if you just went fishing. Uh -huh. So what you have to do is just press P to bring up your actions and traits window. There we go, then yes. Okay, now select actions, and yep. you should see cast light level one. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so I drag that down onto my hop bar. Oh, and there's yep. all the other things. Oh, look, I can see my other things that I get later as well. Stealth and mooch. We'll talk about them later. Okay, so now I've got, uh, all right, so now I've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, so what do I do now? Okay, now you can press two to cast your line. Okay, here we go. Cast. Oh, 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 oh. As you've casted it, back, uh, type in your chat backslash sit. Backslash sit. Here we go. Oh, and look at that. I've got a little stool that comes out. That is, oh, that is so cool. Oh, you got a bite. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, not oh, anymore. Oh, you lost I it. lost my, oh, no, Catella, I just completely wasted your bait, basically, because I didn't okay. even know what I was doing. Now, hang on a minute. My, there's no glowy knob at the end of my rod. I want ah. a glowy knob. So Now, go ahead and tick on the little glowy lock, ah, uh, there, light there wherever you put it. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah. Okay, oh. yay, cool. Now, that's because that's handy, I reckon. Steph, surely having, I notice you don't have a glowy knob on the end of your rod, but I, I'm guessing that it makes it easier to be able to see, because look at Merrick, his, his knob is waving all over the place, and the glow makes it easier to see. So how come, do you prefer not to have it on, Steph? Uh-huh. I'm sorting about it, to be honest with you. Oh, okay, there you go. I don't do much fishing. No, that's okay. Well, you know what? You're learning along with me. We can both learn today. All right, so I reckon it's good because it makes it obvious if you've got a bite. So now, before I do anything else, Mini, I know I hit number two and I cast it out there, but presumably between then and me getting a fish, I've got to hit number three. Number three, hook. Explain what this is. What does hook mean? Now, hook means you're going to attempt to catch the fish. I would only... Press it when you actually see your line moving. You'll actually, there's a couple of tells uh, if you've actually got a fish on the line. And what are they? First, yeah, it'll it'll start to shake, okay. um, depending on which one you used. Right. Or you'll you'll hear a noise. Oh, what do you mean like a noise? Like, help me, I'm stuck on a hook. <laughs> No? Uh, no. Oh, okay, all right. Um. <laughs> it's like a creaking noise, like you're the sound of wood bending. Oh, because like that's what's happening. Like when I get into a car, I hear that noise all the time. Or when I get up out of bed. Yeah, I know the noise. Okay, all right, so here we go. Do I have to keep an eye then on my knob? And if it's bouncing, yes. then I have to hit three to hook. Okay, here we go. I'm going to cast. Wait, wait, hold. Oh, oh the no! Last, the yeah. last tell. I mean, those those are good tells. Those are the ones I usually use. Yep. Is you'll actually see a message in your your text bar that'll tell you that oh. something is on the line. All right, here we go. You cast your line. Oh, 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 it's, oh, oh. It bo oh, it's bobbing. There we go. Unable to use the action at that time, you lose it. What? Why? That's not. F okay, I'm going to try that again. I reckon Minnie's put me wrong. He's deliberately. 
deliberately making me mess up. Here we go. Now I'm waiting patiently. It's just like fishing in real life. Waiting patiently, watching the glowing end of my knob. And there we go. Oh, it's. Oh, come on. Boing, boing, now press boing. Three. Yeah, there we go. Three. Unable to use that action at this time. Again, lost my bait. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> Look at Mini Ninja fails to understand me. <laughs> That's true. How can I mess this up? She said. Okay, I'm crying now. I'm going to try that again. Here we go. Maybe I'm. Am I waiting too long till I hit hook? Mini. Possibly. You have to press, yeah, it is possible. You you have to press hook as soon as you see it bobbing. Ah. Oh. It's like in Rift. You have to you have to press it really fast or else you lose it. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 look at this. Here we go. There you go. Come on, reel it in, Seraphis. Oh, and something went glow. And ah, look at that. That's Data on the lavender beds is added to your fishing log. Blah, 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 blah. All right now, Minnie, I saw a whole bunch of stuff coming up there talking about fishing logs and stuff. Um, you know what? I feel sorry for you. I'm, I'm going to stop asking you questions now. You've been a big help. Thank you. Let's talk to someone else about the UI elements, perhaps. Um, who can... Marky, do you know anything about that? Yeah, I fish a bit. Oh, good. So how do we bring up these fishing logs, and what are they for? Uh, you press Y to bring up the log, yep. uh, and the fishing log, once you've opened it, shows all the areas, and uh, each, if you expand it, it tells you in this area that that many fishing spots. Wow. And if you discover if you discovered them, and uh, I think you've done lavender beds. So if you go to lavender beds, click on it. You see how at the bottom how like it has the fish you've caught and a bunch of question marks. There it is. Yes. Fish you haven't. That's you right. Haven't. It basically, basically, once you've fished um, at all locations, got all the fish. So if you ever go back and you want to get a certain fish, you you know which area you need to go to oh, and which great. fishing spot. So it's kind of like a Pokédex for fishing. Yes, <laughs> yes, and it's also as useless as the one Professor Oak gives you. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Good call there, good call. All right, that's great. That's fantastic. What, now, I notice there's a fish guide here as well. If I click on that, what does that do? It's got a whole bunch of different tabs, and uh, it's just showing... Oh, so is it information about that particular fish, is it? Yes, it also tells you, like, w what location you'll most likely find, and, um, and it gives you a little bit, like, information on this certain fish. Wow. Okay, and... Well, like a mini law book, I guess? Yeah, it is. It's, I love stuff like this. One more button here, which is the records, and I can see here I've got coastline lines and rivers now rivers is where I'm at a papira that I just like literally caught up then 4.2 inches or something or I don't know what it is but anyway a size is that going to show me the biggest catch per, like by the type of water that we're at like river coastline all that sort of stuff yes okay all right. it will also also grade you if you see the circle like how the A B C D or I don't know what oh, you got but that's a C I, I mean I got an A <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, somehow I don't think that's gonna gonna happen. Okay, well that's great. There we go, folks. You've been wanting to know what fishing is like. Let's just do it one more time. Uh, that's. Oh, I don't need to do the bait anymore. Let's cast this off. There's Minnie. She's come back. Did you have to run away and get some more bait? Did you, Minnie? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Here we go. Nothing like fishing with mates. Congratulations. Who was that on the end? I think it was Jukari or Lyra. Oh, here we go. Hook it in. Oh, and let's see. Do I get one? Yes, there we go, another little fish. And I got myself the same thing, a papira. Now, before we finish up with the fishing here, um, I think there are some other... You were talking, Mini Ninja, about how we know whether or not we've got ourselves a bit of a hook, line, or sinker. Cutie, you were saying that there's another way you can actually discover whether or not you've got something on the end of your line. Is that right? Uh, that is true. You'll notice that I also do not use the glowy thing because on console you have an awesome feature that doesn't require that. Your controller will actually rumble when you catch something. Oh, you're joking. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. So if you're playing this on the couch on your PS3 or PS4, then you're going to get that rumble. Now, I'd imagine, though, does anyone here play this game on the PC with a controller? Anyone here? Time to time. Aha, uh -huh, Marky. So do you get the rumble if you're playing it on PC with a controller as well? Yes, you do. Oh, that's fantastic. You just right. enable... You just make sure your controller supports the... Um, rumble. Right, of course you do. Well, Catella, thank you very much for bringing us over here. Mini and guys, thank you for explaining fishing. Finally, Catella, after all this time, I managed to actually get fishing under my belt, so to speak, so I'm going to spend a lot of time here. That is awesome. But uh, look, just one thing though, Catella, I'm looking at my fishing clothes and they're not that fantastic. They're, they're a bit boring. 
And I must admit that the other day, if I look here in my inventory, I was talking to Merrick and Merrick traded me this thing. And thank you very much for this, Merrick. I'm not so fond of the color, but I've got some Lotus pink dye. So I'm gonna put two and two together right now and assume that I can right click on this. In fact, let's bring up my character sheet. Here we go. I'm gonna turn my fisherman outfit into a nice pink one because of course that's my colors. And oh, hang on. Hey Merrick, something's wrong here because I've only got discard, link or sort. How come, where, where's my dye option? How, how do you dye stuff, Merrick? Well, you actually have to do a quest in order to be able to dye stuff. No, what? Well, you, <laughs> that's not fair. That's not, really? So I can't literally use this dye right now as it is? Not at the moment. Oh, gee, thanks but, for getting my hopes up, yeah. But the quest is easy enough to get. Ah, okay, so Catella, do, do you have a couple of minutes? Could we round out this episode by you taking us on this quest, is that all right? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, beautiful. Um, but before we go, Sambo, there's one thing I wanted you to see. Yes. With the different baits. For example, just watch it. Watch me and how I fish. Okay, let's go over and have a look at you. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, oh, so that's that's awesome. So that's just a, uh, which one's that? Is that a lure or is that normal fishing? It's, this is me using an iron jig, which is a lure. It's not really good bait for this fishing location, but it's to show you the differences in how uh, your character model uses the bait. Of course. Here's another one, the topwater frog, to kind of move the frog across the surface of the water. I just thought it was a really cool little feature. You get different animations depending on the bait that you use. That is, and of course, it's just typical, isn't it, of Square Enix and especially Final Fantasy XIV with all those little intrinsic details. That's why we love this game. Now, Catella, we might take a quick break here, perhaps, and uh, you can run us to where we need to go for this die quest. How far away is it? Um, it's in Ulda area. Oh, Ulda, okay. So, Vesper Bay. So it'll be a teleport and all that sort of thing. Alright, well, there you go, folks. Yeah. Certainly hope you enjoyed checking out the fishing. Finally, and wow, look at you, Mark. You look amazing. Here in Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Big thanks to everyone who was here to help me through that. And if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below, and I'm sure any of these guys watching along be able to help you and especially on the distant world forums to which there's also a link in the description below this video but let's take a break now and we'll come back as we go and find me a die quest so i can get some pinkness going on on my boring fishing colors we'll be right back And welcome back folks, here we go. You can see, where actually I don't know where I am, but it doesn't matter because look at what is behind me. We've got Ezra QT, we've got Lyra Carlisle, Merrick, we've got Maki Catella, Jukari, and on the end there, that pirate mini ninja. G'day guys, and oh my lord Catella. Of course, I've seen these before because you surprised me the other day <laughs> when you guys yeah. pulled all these out of nowhere. Tell us again though, what are these Catella? They're absolutely amazing. These are from the collectors edition so with the ps4 version coming out uh, they offered these as a collector's edition perk and since anybody who has a collector's edition of any platforms ended up getting them they are amazing of course mini ninja what's the formal name of these mounts the fat chocobo <laughs> the fat chocobo <laughs> absolutely amazing now, and you, do you guys like mind every time you say it yeah you gotta yep. say it like that the fat chocobo i'm gonna run ahead because i want you guys to run towards me if you don't mind because i want us to see go on come come over here oh look at the look at the animations they they it looks like they're chasing those little oh it's so cute they're chasing those little pouches of food and it's just so gorgeous now if you guys are wondering what on earth i'm talking about with this video the other day we'll pop a link to that down in the description gosh there's going to be so many links down there today that is where i think um who was filming that was it you merrick i can't remember now no that i believe it was katella that was filming that oh that was yeah. actually your one katella right that's right and uh she yes unbeknownst to me got me being surprised by these mounts because I had no, absolutely no idea that they existed in the game and they look absolutely amazing it's great do they by the way do they have the music do they have the chocobo music anyone when you run or is it no they oh. totally different music oh is it okay so it's not no and the music fits that fits the uh, the running of the chocobo too okay and it's from an old Final Fantasy I believe but I don't know which one. Oh, like a two or four. a three or four okay yeah, that's very very cool actually I've got to bring out my legacy chocobo there we go now now, I just noticed as well, Catella, I I went through my mail, and I must admit I was just opening things, and there's Ezra, look at that, Ezra, that looks so cute. I was opening things, and I opened this thing called some barding something something, I'm not sure what it was, but I'm guessing it's this black stuff that I've got on my chocobo, right? Uh, no, I think that's... I've never, seen, I've never seen that before. No, you, this you've is got just the your... legacy. Oh, is it? This so, is the legacy chocobo. So, if you pull out your... Um, 
your one you got from the grand company, then it can actually be applied to that one. Okay, hang on, let me get rid of this. So what do we go to actions and traits, I think, is it? Is that right? Uh, where we go, mounts, here we go. Okay, so Ahariman, uh, is that the one? Well, that's no. that's a different mount altogether. Remember, oh, that's the one. You can actually pop that one if you want to okay. see it real quick. Uh, there we are. We'll pop that one on. Oh, that's right. That's the weird, creepy one with the eye. And look, <laughs> that's disturbing. Looks like my eyes are uh, first thing in the morning. Okay, now that's not the one I want. I only have these two. So I've only got the Legacy so, Chocobo or the Army Run. That's it. That's all I've got. Uh, hmm. He hasn't done a storyline oh, quest. Oh, we haven't yep. done the quest yet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Never we mind. can't do that until we do the quest. Oh. Um, Oh dear, yet another thing I'm falling behind on. See it terrible. Now, Catella though, what are you riding right now? Because you're right in the camera and that looks absolutely amazing. Explain um, that one. So this is this is my chocobo, but it's got a Leviathan barding. It's like tidal barding, I think it's called. Wow, hang on, let's uh, get right next to you there so we can zoom in. That looks amazing. So that's just barding. Oh yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. We can see the because it looked like a completely different mount, but you can see the yeah. chocobo underneath there. That is awesome. All right, well look, everyone's showing off their mounts. I can't do that because I've only got my silly little one, but that doesn't matter. Where are we going, Catella? Because I've got to get to the dying thing so I can dye my boring old fishing outfit. So lead the way. Yeah. And we're going to head this way. And who's that? Maki, why, why are you carrying around presents on the back there? Is that something to do with Easter? Are they my Easter eggs? Oh, that was the Christmas present. The Christmas event. Oh, party. Cool. Christmas party. Awesome. Oh, man. Such a good idea. I went and mug Santa Claus. Yeah, you mug Santa Claus. Cutie, what on earth are you riding there? I went out and tamed Behemoth. You did? <laughs> that <laughs> looks like Behemoth. <laughs> so obviously that's a very special type of mount. Uh, this is one of the veteran reward mounts. Ah, okay, right. Wow, just amazing. The mounts in this game are incredible. Minnie, are you collecting lots of mounts as well? Working on it. Working on it. What about you, Steph? Do you like your mounts? Because I know you love your mounts in World of Warcraft. Are you going nuts on these ones as well, Steph? Uh, yeah, trying to collect sure. as few as I can. As yeah. many as I can, I should say. Yeah, good stuff. Good to hear it. Now, how would you know about this particular quest, Merrick, by the way? If you, like, if I just received dye or bought dye off the market ward or, or something like that, how would I know that I had to do a quest in order to be able to use it? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Somebody actually had to told me to tell me that I had to do a quest to do it because I didn't. Uh, you didn't uh, know either. Yeah, I didn't know either. I don't. I don't believe that there's or is there something. Yeah, I don't remember. It's it was such a while ago. There might be actually a, a pre quest that you can do. Sure. That tells you how to do it. But I guess in a way that that look at Mini Ninja's mount. Gosh, you look amazing there, Mini. The the thing about this is, and uh, Jukari's sitting on Lyra's lap down there, and Snuggles, Cutie McSnuggles, of course, always sits on laps. The thing about Final Fantasy XIV, if you ask me, is that they don't hand you everything on a plate, Catella. And I think that's part of the appeal of the game, yeah. wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you kind of have to work your way through some things, and I guess this is one of them. I'm lucky I've got you guys here, and of course I'm such an idiot, thank goodness I have. Let's have a chat to this person here, Swoop. I will just call him Mr. S. <laughs> there we go. Colour your world. Miss S. Miss L. Oh, sorry, it's a miss. Whoops. Uh, miss S wants to show you a whole new world of colours. It's uh, who was singing a whole new world earlier? I think it was you, Cutie. Was it? Yeah, Cutie. Cutie. I have no idea who that could be. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> a whole new. World. Okay, here we go. Let's accept this one here. Are you there? Yes, you. The de oh, that's not very nice. The decisively unfashionable adventurer can't be talking to me. Surely. Never in my life have I seen such an unapologetic focus on function <laughs> at extreme cost to form. I think I think she's insulting me. The mere sight of you fair makes my eyes bleed. Wow. I like her already. That's <laughs> harsh. That's harsh, all right. <laughs> As a lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the realm in that sorry state. Okay, I think I'm just going to go home now. I believe your appearance can yet be salvaged through the use of colour. Here we go. I will tell you how to go about dyeing your outfit, but first, I must have a drink. The heat has given me a vicious thirst, and I won't be able to talk for any length of time. Be a dear and go buy me a bottle of orange juice at the stall by the northern gates, would you? Once I've moistened my throat, we shall see to the business of remedying your appearance. Ah. Oh. Huh. Oh man, so wait a minute, does that mean I've got to go wandering away and find her some orange juice cutie? Is that how it works? Uh, actually, I've got some orange juice here I can trade you. Oh, what? 
but it's a quest do item. It. What do you mean? You're allowed to ch like this is an actual quest item though. A lot of games don't let you do that. They you know make you oh look at that there it is. So it can be any old orange juice cutie. Ah uh, yeah, it's just regular orange juice. You can buy off almost any culinary vendor that gives you uh, buffs like the food buffs. Ah oh, ah oh, right okay. So there you go, folks. There's a little tip if you want to be prepared for this quest. Come with some orange juice and uh, you won't have to go running around trying to find it. There you go, cutie. Or you can come with your very own cutie McSnuggles, like me. And there we go. Deliver a I bottle of... really cheap. Yeah, really cheap, that's right. All he will do is sing, if that's a price. There we go. Colour your world. This is the quest. You cannot complete this. Oh, no. Look at this. I have to Dang be it. level 15. So I guess I have to change my... Because I'm level 5 hmm. as a fisher, right, Catella? So I'm going to yeah. go to Marauder. Let's equip my Marauder. There we go. That's Judy, what we used to. You should have charged him an arm and a leg. Uh, <laughs> No, he shouldn't have. Good Lord, not oh, all of us. Oh, did I say that out loud? You are, you profiteering pirate, you. Here we go. This is Ms. S. And pray tell, have you bought my orange juice? Lest you have forgotten, the merchant who sells it can be found just inside the northern gates. No, I have definitely got orange juice here. Let's see if we can find it in my bags. Because, of course, that's going to be the next challenge. Hmm. Where, actually, where is it? Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. There's a jack-o'-lantern there. Oh, there it is. There we go. Hand over, indeed. There we go. Gulp. Fuel. That's a relief. Finally, I can teach you how to bring colour into your life. Listen well. There are handy items called colourants, which allow folk to dye their outfits a veritable rainbow of colours. These colourants are so simple to use. Even Sambo can... Oh, wait a minute. That's not what it says. Adventurers have no <laughs> excuse. <laughs> and they can be fashion unconscious. I'm not fashion unconscious. Thank you very much. Lest you worry that dyeing will affect your garment's precious properties, you may rest assured that it will not. Oh, so practically all of you adventures love so much will not suffer from the change in appearance, a change for the better. So hang on a minute, Catella. What's she saying? Is she saying that dying won't overwrite any key stats? Is that what he's saying? That's she's correct. Saying? Okay, all right. So we can die to our heart's content. It should also gladden you to know that garments can be dyed repeatedly over and over and over and over and over and over again. So there is no fear of getting locked into one colour. That garish pink that seemed like such a wonderful idea after a dozen glasses of red wine can be undone. Hmm, interesting. Thanks for giving me pink, by the way, Merrick, because I do note that you've given me pink dye in my bags. Anyway, that is all you need to know about dyeing gear. Now, what are you waiting for? Get out there and bring some colour into your life. And there we go. Colour your world is the quest there. Level 15 you do have to be. And it looks to me like, do I get all of these? I do. I get red, I get yellow, and I get blue. And what's that? Just, what's, what? Look, Catella, there's a weird one here. There's rose pink dye, there's bone white dye, and there's ice blue dye, but there's one just called dye at the end. What's that for, Catella? I don't understand. It's got no colour whatsoever. There's one just called dye? Yeah, it really You've is. You've got red, blue, and yellow, yep. and one called dye? Yes. How weird's that? Oh, let's That's the action. Oh, is it the action? Oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh, right. So there we go. Action. Look, you're absolutely right. Action, learn, die. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot there, Catella, but I'm thinking maybe it's a die that, you know, dies it back to neutral because a lot of games have that one. But here we go. You are now able to die items. To die a piece of gear, you must first have the proper colorant. Colorant can be crafted or purchased in stores. Once you've got that, you basically select the die icon from the actions and traits. There's no limit to how many times you can do it and it, oh this is interesting now so Merrick it's saying here similarly you if you wish to paint a housing fixture or furnishing can you do that with the same type of dye Merrick uh, pretty sure you can yeah because it's got a picture of a brown chair shifting over to a yellow oh, hey 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 Catella does that mean we can die mini ninja um mini ninja isn't a furnishing in the house uh, uh, well she's a fixture of, however of the she show. does <laughs> is at the not house yet. quite a lot so but <laughs> she's not dyeable damn it I wanted to make her bright pink <sighs> oh well, okay so let's see uh I want to before we wrap up the show I want to actually dye my fishing outfit so let me change to that very quickly there we go oh what would you do if I dyed the spring gear? I bet you'd be upset with me. There we go. No, it's fine. Oh, you can do that as guess because you can undo it. Anyway, here's my fishing gear. So who wants to talk me through this? Catella, go on. You've drawn the short straw. I'm so sorry. How do okay. how do I do it? So what, like, where's the UI? How do I do this? So if you um, just hit P. Hit P. Here we go. Yep. And it'll pull up actions and traits. Correct. And then I believe under general there should be one called die in there that you can just drag down to oh, your hotbar. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we'll drop that on the old hotbar. And that's all I'll need from there? Yep. 
Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to click on die. Let's hope that the world doesn't implode. Here we go. Item dying. And there's a little drop down window here. So what's that all about, Catello? It says equipped. Okay, so um, it, where it says equipped, you can see if you actually click in there, it gives you a few different options. Oh, so depending on where the item is that you're wanting to die, you can choose where it is. But the one just so happens for you, it is equipped. So oh. that's probably good. So you don't actually have to have an item on your person in order to die it. You, you can go to your inventory or your armory chest. That's amazing. I think that's a great idea. All right, so there we go. My Hempen Delmatica of Gathering, which is what I'm using for my fishing outfit. So I click on it and, oh, it's brought up a whole new window. You have to walk me through this one, Kat. Yep, so there's a whole new window and you probably have like a whole bunch of different colors there at the top. Yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, white, red, brown, yellow, green, blue, and some pink or purple color yep okay so um if you go ahead and click on the red one for example okay there we go oh it shows me a preview it shows you a preview and there's going to be whatever dice you have on you won't have an x on them oh so are these all of the variations oh, oh and i can see them all oh yep wow that's amazing so hang on a minute if i go over to this end one here which is lavender blue ah there's lotus pink that's the one that merrick gave me right mm -hmm. yep. okay so let's say i want to choose that one how do i actually dye it that color just click on it to select it and then hit the dye button yeah, here we go oh there you go oh look at that i'm bright okay so hang on a minute why are there no other pieces coming up because i mean i'm wearing i've got pants on haven't I? i've got leggings why why are they yeah not but those aren't dyeable because those oh. i believe are your starting gear right yes right okay that yeah makes sense. those aren't dyeable now you can still view them in your your preview window though if you look below your preview window there's just a tiny little icon you can click to show it let's have a look here um oh show all equipped gear oh i see right thank you for that mini all right now hang on a minute though does that mean that i have like is that a consumable merrick have i used up your pink dye now because i don't see it in my inventory to be honest yep you've used it up oh so it's not like you learn it and uh, like i think in guild wars 2 you once you get a die it adds it to the palette so you can use it forever but here in final fantasy 14 it's literally that oh and that's why i guess that i've got in my bags three of the red yellow and blues because they're right okay okay there we go folks so i guess this is a little bit of a collectible thing in itself as well i mean mini ninja you'd want to be able to go and you know open up as many dies as you can right surely yeah why not yeah and is that a crafting thing cutie i mean do people make die die can be there's certain die that can only be bought from npcs there's certain die that can only be crafted and there's certain die that can only be obtained by uh getting them from the beast quests beast tribes wow i don't even know what a beast tribe is but it sounds horrific that's what it sounds it's in like. the future it's, it's in the future well look speaking of the future that's where we're going to have to leave this show i think because we've run out of time basically and uh, look at you up the top there Ezra. you look so cute um that is it for us folks i certainly hope you you've enjoyed this little quick return to Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn just so we can uh, basically check in on the guys say hello and a big thank you to everyone who did join us in today's show we've got uh, Catella there of course we've got Mini Cutie we've got Merrick we've got Jukari we've got Lyra aka Steph and we've got Maki as well thank you very much guys Ezra I must know what that hat is before we go any further what is that hat because it's so cool it looks like a little French baguette that's what I'm going to say it is I don't know where they got it from but it looks awesome if you guys would like to see more of Final Fantasy 14 of course don't forget to stop past the Distant World Engine site because we've got all sorts of folk in the community there who are making videos these days and yes we will be definitely coming back to Final Fantasy 14 with our regular show it's just I'm very busy at the moment in real life and it's a lot easier for me to make the World of Warcraft shows because of course it's just me and if I mess up I can hit myself rather than have everyone else here laugh at me so that's why I'm only doing that show but we will return one day when things calm down in real life but at the moment while it's Easter break it's great to see you guys and we'll do a couple of live streams as well while i'm on my easter holidays for the next week so i'm looking forward to that but on behalf of everyone here who joined us and of course everyone watching along as i saying take care i hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye 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 bye, bye. 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 See ya.